There's phase one of the 50 kilowatt solar array finished. Almost finished. Got to put some clamps underneath still on the end there. This is two strings. One of them is a 375 watt panel string and the other one is a 370 watt string. What's up, Gordo? Got a little bit of a wave in the middle. That um, the 2x6 in the middle wanted a warp on me, I guess. So, rest of it's fairly straight. About as good as you can get with lumber, I guess. So I think this is day four or five. I think it's day five. And she's just chugging along. I think what I'm going to do is build a pod, some kind of a pod, to house the ten miners because I don't want to fill this shed up with miners and try to deal with all the heat in here. I keep the heat down for the inverter and the, and the batteries anyway. So, if anybody has any good ideas on on a small pod that's big enough for 10 miners, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Battery's at 99%. It's 2.30 right now. A little after. So, it's it's running this, uh, this one ant miner. Um, at 3200 watts, constant pull, and it's, it's charged the battery almost all the way up. Um, charging that at, I think it's like 12 or 1300 watts. Pretty clear day today, so it's running pretty good. Alright, we're going to see if we can drive a ground rod here.
Across these ropes. Filthy. So, we gotta finish this trench and uh, hook up these number two, hook up these number two aluminums and the ground rod. And over here, I got the grounds on the array. All the way through here, all the unistruts are grounded, well will be grounded. And I did a continuity test, the, the panels are definitely, they definitely have continuity to the, to the unistrut. So, the way I got them, the way I got them secured underneath here it's grounding the uh, the panels pretty good so the first first three sections are done pretty much so for the next project see that uh, the metal building over there the old barn Using it for a chicken coop basically and, and uh, got a greenhouse, lean-to greenhouse on the, on the south side there. What we're going to do, we're going to put some solar panels on the, on the south facing roof and hook a grow watt, a grid tie grow watt up, up to those panels. And then we're not going to grid tie it though, we're going to use the solace that's in the shed here to create... A microgrid so the the solus is going to synchronize or the the grow watt is going to synchronize with the solus the solus is going to frequency watt control the grow watt so the grow the 5000 watts is going to add to the 11.4 kW that we have in here to help charge the battery and, and run whatever else and then once the battery gets to a preset uh, state of charge, the solace is going to adjust the frequency and ramp the, uh, depending on the state of charge, either ramp the, the, the grow watt down or ramp it up or shut it down. So that, that should be a pretty interesting little experiment. I just, I got to work out some, I know there's a 220 line going from the building uh, to the house but that was damaged years ago I'm gonna have to see if I can find where where the damage was on that hopefully I can fix that line otherwise I'm gonna have to end up pulling some new wire I don't really want to do that so stay tuned guys that should be an interesting one you like this kind of content would appreciate a like and a subscribe and uh, like I always appreciate you guys I'll talk to y'all later